Hey guys, welcome back to another tutorial. So I'm just going in with the Bobbi Brown face base and applying that all over, just moisturising that in. Then I'm going in with my Schwarzkopf <laughs> Got To Be Glued Gel and I'm just running that through my brows and using my fingers to stick my hairs right up, right up there, fluffy as fuck. Then I'm just taking my Hollywood Flawless Filter by Charlotte Tilbury and this is just a really nice glowy base for makeup. It does have like a very, very light coverage um, but it just sits really nice under foundations for a glow. Then for foundation, I am going to go in with the Wet and Wild Photo Focus Foundation. And I love how this is a little applicator. That makes me really happy. And then on a Peaches and Cream brush, I am just buffing that into my skin. I'm using quite a big brush because I just want to get it on. Then I'm going in with my um, Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Concealer. And just applying that in all the usual areas. Just for that little for, sort of face lifting style. <laughs> oh my god. What am I like explaining stuff? And I'm just buffing that in. Then I'm going in with the foundation stick by Makeup Revolution in F13. And I am just contouring away. So I am just placing this underneath my cheekbones, over my forehead. And I also go underneath my chin and down my nose. Then I'm just going in with the Maybelline Fit Me powder. I freaking love this powder. It's so good. And I'm just buffing that in with a beauty blender. Just pat, pat, patting away. Then for bronzer, I'm going to go in with the Morphe, the Icon bronzer. And I'm just applying this in all the areas that I applied my contour. But I'm just going a little bit higher as well. Just more onto the tops of the cheekbones as well. Just where like the sun hits. And then I'm just strengthening that with the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Bronzer and just putting that right to the back of my cheeks. Then I'm going in with the Makeup Obsession and this is the Sun Ray Blush. And I'm just applying that across my cheeks and over my nose for that sort of like sunburnt kissed look. Then I'm going in with Doll Beauty. This is Shine Bright. This is like the most iconic highlighter ever. And I'm just applying that in all my usual spots. Then I'm just going to apply some Fix Plus just to melt that all in. I'm going in with the P. Louise base in the shade 2 all over my eye with a synthetic brush. And then I'm just buffing it in with a beauty blender just so it's really opaque. Then I'm going in with the Sheen Cosmetics Epic Liners. And these are unbelievable. So this one is the shade, I think, Ocean Blue. And I'm just creating these just little lines, like these ombre lines. This one is Cool Mint and these are so easy to work with like I can't even explain they're just brilliant and then this gorgeous purpley one is orchid so I just want this to be like a really nice pastel liner kind of vibe and then I just mixed dance party and scrunchie to get a really light pastel pink and they are by Sova Beauty and then I'm just creating these like little shapes across the liner just like little bubbles and I saw that another artist have had done this. I can't remember who it was. So that's why they're not tagged. But just so that you know, it's like this isn't my like design. Then I am just doing these little paint flecks. I'm just going, I'm coordinating it with the colour of the liner. So that it's like an ombre sort of bubbly flick kind of style. And I'm just doing that all over and then taking the pink down underneath. Then I'm taking these little sort of like sequency things and I'm just applying it like along the line just so that it's not too obvious but you get that little shimmer. Then I'm just going in with Maybelline Colossal Mascara and you can see that little shimmer happening there. For brows, I'm going in with my brow jam, brown sugar pomade and my magic brush and I'm just creating hair strokes to make my brows appear fluffier and really, really full. Then I'm taking the Prima Lash and this is the style Booty. And I'm just applying those so they look really perfect, fluffy and spiky with this look. Then I'm just applying healthy coats of mascara to my lower lashes just so they look really spiky as well. Then I'm going in with the Morphe liner. I forget the name. I think it might be Fearless or something. And it's just a really nice mauve pink. And I'm going in with the Max influentially it lipstick all over super light and then i'm just going to use my finger to blend those together and then i'm going to take fenty and fussy and just apply that over the top so it's 
glossy and juicy and then taking just a little bit of my snazzaro paint and just creating some white bubbles on the top or paint flex whatever guys final look hope you enjoyed see you in the next one bye